Hello, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of It's Your City. I'm your host, Courtney Bloomer. Today's show is brought to you by Paradise Salon Spa and Wellness here in Carson City. What is microblading? Check it out at paradisesalonspawellness.com. Our guest for today is Captain Mark Sear from the Salvation Army right here in Carson City. Welcome. Oh, thank you, Courtney. I'm, I'm glad to be here. The Salvation Army is a, a long-standing institution here in Carson City and across the country. Um, but our local chapter, uh, you're a captain. Tell us a little bit about what the uh, Salvation Army does here. Well, um, here in Carson City, we've been here for just about 30 years, um, serving uh, the local community with um, a food pantry, utility assistance, um, rental assistance, uh, uh, the, our Christmas program, Angel Tree. Um, also, uh, we, we do emergency disaster service. Um, and other programs as well. We have our morning latchkey program in four different um, elementary schools locally, and we also have an after-school program in our summer day camp. So we keep we keep pretty busy. Really busy, and I think a lot of people aren't aware of all of the things that the Salvation Army does. Um, your most visible thing this time of year, of course, is the Red Kettle campaign. Correct. Uh, that is that is taking place at a number of retailers around the community. Um, what what is the point of the Red Kettle campaign? What does that support? Well, the Red Kettle campaign really supports us, our year-round services. Uh, the the big focus is Christmas. Uh, we'll, we'll serve over 3,000 people over the holiday season with uh, food boxes, uh, turkeys, and presents for children that wouldn't otherwise be able to get presents. Um, and that's a, a main thing of the Red Kettle kickoff. But also, we, we make enough money where we're able to provide other needs throughout the, throughout the year. Another thing that people probably are familiar with for the Salvation Army is uh, the Salvation Army Thrift Shop, which right now is located over on Winnie Lane, but I understand that's going to be moving. Yeah, they'll be moving the thrift shop after the first of the year, I think right around January 11th, um, to uh, research in College Parkway. It's a larger location, and they'll be able to do more business there. The thrift store um, serves the... Uh, adult rehab program that we have um, where men can go in and get six months um, of an opportunity for counseling and, and spiritual training and sobriety, basically be retrained on how to, how to live um, as a citizen. Um, and it's a, it's one of the most successful programs in the nation are the Salvation Army's adult rehab programs. So that, that's what the thrift store supports. And it's a great opportunity to go in there with people and take in their, you know, old furniture or clothing. And, and, and not only do they get rid of it, but uh, we're able to recycle that something we've been doing for over a hundred years and recycle that, make some money and help recycle people and, and change lives. Fantastic mission that the Salvation Army has. And, and that's just one way that, that they're reaching out to people in our community. Tell me a little bit about how people here in Carson City can get involved in some of the programs that you have if they want to support what you're doing, say with the Angel Tree, for example. Well, with Angel Trees, all you have to do is call our, our local office, 887-9120, and we can set you up with an Angel Tree tag or several for your business. You know, some businesses take 25 or 100 and fill those. And those, each one of those is a child that needs gifts. And we have to get those gifts for those kids. And and that's an opportunity you can do with the Angel Tree. We also have Adopt a Family, where you can actually adopt a family. You can say, hey, I'd like a single mom with three kids. And, and we'll set you up with a single mom with three kids. And you can adopt them and get presents for all of them. Um, we also have our Silver Angels, where we're out um, helping um, uh, senior citizens as well. Uh, we've adopted several senior care facilities here locally. And that's what we do with those. So there's all kinds of opportunities to help during Christmas. Um, we need volunteers to help uh, bell ring, go out and bell ring, stand out in front of one of the stores. Uh, we, you know, that's that's our major fundraiser for the year and helps us throughout the year. You know, we, we sent over 50 kids to camp last year and that money is raised at Christmas time. And that's a camping experience, five days at camp. It's life transforming for these young children. Tell us a little bit about the camp. What does that involve for them? Well, camp, we, uh, they go up on Monday. We, we actually take them there. And that's, that's always a, a great experience for me because I drive through Tahoe to get there. It's at, in Nevada City. And I take kids here from Carson City that have never seen the lake before. And I'm always amazed by that. As a kid, you know, I, I grew up in the Bay Area and I saw the lake almost every summer. We'd go on vacation as a family, but there's a lot of families that don't have the opportunity to do that. Um, so we, we take the kids to camp. Uh, it's, you know, if you've ever been to camp or if you've ever watched a camp movie, it's without all the mischief, it's the same thing. Um, you know, they get to canoe, they get to swim, they get to do crafts. Uh, they have uh, um, bows and arrows. You know, they have all kinds of opportunities. Just just be kids up there and have, have some fun and, and, and get away for a week, which we all need to do every year. So. 
So absolutely, and these kids don't have opportunities to experience some of those activities Ex otherwise. Exactly. We what we do is we like the family to invest in it. So we charge twenty five dollars to take your kid to camp for one week, and that way they're invested in it. And in, you know you can't feed your kid for twenty five dollars for a week, and obviously it costs us about three hundred dollars to send them. But it's just a way to get the family involved in it. The Salvation Army. You mentioned that the Red Kettles are the main. Uh, source of revenue for the organization, but you guys are going to be starting a capital campaign. Yeah, we, we are going to be kicking off a capital campaign after the first of the year. We have outgrown our facility there on Colorado Street. We're, if you've ever been down there, we, we're storing things down the hallway. You know, uh, it's it's just, it's kind of crazy down there. We've got so many different things going on with our after school program and, and the different ministries we do and um, our food programs. So we just need a bigger facility. So we're going to be starting our capital campaign after the first. You'll hear more about it in, in January and uh, we're excited to get going. It's something we've been working towards for about three years now. Fantastic activities are going on. Lots of opportunities to volunteer, to donate, to get involved. Give us again uh, the contact information for uh, for the Salvation Army organization. Okay, well, we're at 661 Colorado Street here in Carson City. Um, our phone number is 887-9120. And um, you can call us uh, or just drop on by and see us. We're there, we're there from eight o'clock in the morning till six thirty, seven o'clock at night. So just if it's, if the door is locked, just knock. We're in there and uh, coming in and see. We can get you some angel tree tags, help you adopt a family, or if you want to, if you want a bell ring for us, just give us a call. Um, you know, I always always talk about the bell ringing. What's important about that? You know, you put a little change in that kettle, and it adds up to a changed life. It really does because we're, we're helping children, we're helping adults, uh, seniors every day with the money that goes in there. And it's just a handful of change. It's an opportunity for normal people to give. You know, I, I can't afford to write a $20,000 check, you know, and we do have donors that do that and help us that way. But it's, it's the, the senior citizen that just drops a handful of change, uh, you know, at Christmas time that's able to invest in the Salvation Army and the work we do. Um, it, it, so we're, we're excited to be able to be out there in front of the stores and get, get the community involved in doing the same thing with us. All right, we encourage everybody to take part in that campaign. If you're walking into the grocery store or Walmart and you see them out front uh, ringing the bell, just, just uh, give them your loose change. Drop a dollar in the kettle. Mm -hmm. And it, it adds up. Captain Mark Sear with the Carson City Salvation Army. Thank you so much for being here today. Well, thank you, Courtney. I'm, I'm glad to be able to be here. I appreciate you having me. All right. And thanks to all of you for joining us for this week's edition of It's Your City, brought to you by Paradise Salon Spa and Wellness. Check them out at the web address shown on your screen. If your business would like to sponsor a future edition of It's Your City, please contact Darla at the address that is up on your screen right now. I'm your host, Courtney Bloomer. We'll see you next week.